Dan Janot, and I play Arno Dorian in Assassin's Creed Unity. Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. The beginning of the game, he's just this kind of young, young punk. To your health, gentlemen. You, boy, sir! But then, through his association with the Brotherhood, he becomes part of a much larger fight, the French Revolution, the fight for the people to overthrow their oppressive government. And then he, he slowly starts to realize that there's much more at stake than his own personal goals. The only person that he really has a relationship with is Elise. Arno and Elise grow up together, and they're always quite close. They're, they're sort of young troublemakers together. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. My name is Catherine Birubé, and I play Elise de la Serre. At the beginning of the game, you see her very light, very playful, a little reckless, adventurous, running around. And then as that gets older, their relationship, their intimacy develops into something much deeper, into something romantic. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. And what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, she's willing to do pretty much anything to avenge her father's death. She's got a quest in mind, and she's not willing to diverge from it at any cost. My name is Alex Ivanovich, and I play Donatien Alphonse François. Marquis de Sade. He's a libertine, eh? He's a champion for freedom and not being hindered by morality. I think Arno thinks of the Marquis as a kind of unpredictable ally, but he quickly realizes that the Marquis, although he seems a bit mad on the outside, is actually quite savvy. He knows what's going on. Let's go. My name is uh, Brent Skagford, and I play a uh lesser-known historical figure of the time, a dude named uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. I love the way that the writers of ACU have created the character um, through the dialogue. He's very intelligent, and he uses that command of the language to influence people and to get what he wants, and that was a lot of fun for me to play as an actor. Napoleon's probably one of the few people that Arno feels, this guy knows what's going on. He's clearly a smart guy, a strong leader, a great tactician. My name is Bruce Dinsmore, and I play Maximilian Robespierre. He's a bit of a pedant, he's a bit of a show-off, a bit pretentious. Arno is aware of what Robespierre is capable of. And he's, he's, a, he's a madman, as far as Arno can tell. This guy is nuts, and he's leading France into ruin. I don't think he was drunk on power, but he was drunk on something. Thank God you made it, sir. The commune stands with you. Thank you, Sergeant. Your loyalty does you credit. I've brought my own thing to the table, and hopefully I haven't disappointed the fans, because if I have, they're gonna kill me.